Hey, it's Harlan giving you three things to not do when choosing your first college roommate. Number one, do not live with a close friend if possible. Now, I know a lot of you don't like to hear this and I get a ton of pushback, but here's the thing. The only thing you're gonna do is possibly stay friends with someone who you're already friends with or absolutely hate this person. And I know it's shocking to you to think that you're going to hate this person, but so many friends end up living together. The relationship that you have outside of a roommate relationship is incredibly different than what you would have when you live with someone. See, when you're friends with someone, they tend to take advantage of you. They tend not to listen. They're not great at respecting boundaries. And if there's certain habits or things that are important to you and it's not important to someone else, you will end up resenting that person you live with. It happens all the time. So the better plan is to divide and conquer, meaning you live in one place, your close friend lives in another place, you get to meet each other's roommates, maybe you form friendships with these people. If you don't love the person you live with, you always have somewhere to go and someone to hang out with and you only have something to gain. Sophomore, junior, senior year, beyond, you can live with this close friend. But for the first time, it's just better to divide and conquer. Number two, do not require your roommate to be a friend. Now let me be very clear. Requiring someone and hoping or wanting someone to be your friend is very different. See, when you require someone to be a friend, they have to say and do certain things, like invite you to share meals, introduce you to their friends, include you in their, in their activities. And when that person doesn't, you start to resent that person. You're like, why aren't you inviting me? Like, why aren't you including me? And sometimes it gets really awkward and really uncomfortable because not everybody wants to be friends with the person they're living with. And that's just the dynamics. Friendship is a bonus. Living with someone is just a way to help with the costs. You need to have a plan to find friends in other places, places where you're gonna sweat, play, pray, live, learn, lead, love, work. And if you find friends outside of your room, you don't require that roommate to be a friend, which helps you to actually have an honest relationship, which will actually help you to have a better chance of being friends with that roommate. Number three, do not assume. We make a ton of assumptions because we look on social media, we see who someone, you know, we see what someone uh, represents, you see how they interact, you see their pictures, you see their videos, you're like, oh, this is gonna be great, this is gonna be amazing. But then you live together and it can get uncomfortable. So a better thing to do is to not assume and talk about the things that really matter to you now. Now, I know a lot of you aren't great at expressing yourself because it can be kind of scary and uncomfortable. So you can use something called the uncomfortable rule and you can blame it on me and share that I suggested this. The uncomfortable rule means that you both agree before living together and even if you're living together, you can still agree that if either of us does something that makes the other uncomfortable, we agree that we're gonna talk about it within 24 to 48 hours. And if we can't talk about it, we'll get someone to help us to talk about it. But we promise that if something makes us uncomfortable, we'll share that. So if you do this, you're gonna have a great relationship. You can actually talk to your roommate or future roommate about getting up in the morning, if that's a big issue, hours that people keep, some of their habits, their lifestyle choices. Not because you're judging, but because you just wanna understand who that person is and what they do, so you can put that out there and you can do it in a comfortable way. You can also build an honest relationship that will hopefully turn into a friendship and you can also hang out with that close friend who's living uh, on the other side of campus, see? It all works out. Hey, thanks for watching Help Me Harlan. Do you have a question? I would love to answer it. Please send me your questions. The URL is right here. I will answer them live as part of Help Me Harlan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.